Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the Use Windows Dimensions um, from React Native. I'm also going to show you how to use Dimensions from React Native and I'm going to show you the difference between using these. So first off I'm going to use Windows Dimensions Hook. Um, the reason I'm using that is it actually is recommended and you'll be able to see later on that when the screen size changes it's going to trigger the UI to update so you're going to get up to date um, height and width and so without doing a whole heap of extra code to sort of listen to any changes so that's where use window dimensions has its advantages. You could use this for a few different things but you might want to show different things on screen depending on the width or height so that you can provide a custom experience to your user. You can see that there that the height and width um, are shown on the screen. I'm now going to go and open on the web so I can resize the um, actual screen and then you can see that the height and width will update accordingly. So you can see I've got my React Native Dimensions web page here and if I were to resize that then it would update. So you can see that's responding to the changes. Any change in the width or height and it's going to update on screen that the width or height has changed. Now that I've shown you that, I'm going to show you dimensions. The reason you'd use dimensions, I guess, would be um, if you didn't want to know about the changes, you have to manually add a listener if you want to hear about the changes. It's just going to give you the initial screen width and height. So now I'm changing to use dimensions. So how you do that is you go dimensions.get and you specify whether you want the window or the screen. I'm going to get the window because I'm comparing with use window dimensions and I'm just going to display those values. You can see now when I change the size of my um, window for my web view, um, for my web page, it doesn't actually update the height and width and that's because I'm using dimensions. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content.